Hello guys, Snowflake here. Welcome to another episode of Oblivion. And our new chapter of a Dark Brotherhood has kicked off after the killing of all of our brothers and sisters in the Shaden Hell Sanctuary. We have been appointed as Lucian Lechance's silencer and we have received and completed our first dead drop orders um, to kill the necromancer named Celadayan who was trying to transform himself to a lich was unsuccessful because we took an hourglass from his body. Fun times. And we got ourselves 500 gold, a pretty decent reward. Um, and we've received our next quest from Lucian as well. A slightly more complicated one in that we have to kill more than one person. Uh, I'll let the quest journal entry do the talking. So I've received my new orders from Lucian the Chance. I must kill every member of the Draconis family. Perennia Draconis, Matthias Draconis, Andreas Draconis, Sibylla Draconis, and Celia Draconis, and over the location of only the family matron, Perennia Draconis, who could be found on the farm known as Apple Watch. I should head to Apple Watch, find out as much information as I can on the locations of the other family members, and then systematically kill them all. Uh, like I said at the end of the last episode, this isn't the first time we've had to kill um, a, gr a, f a group of family members, as we basically did that in the purification quest. Uh, but we're less attached to these guys, although they're probably a lot more... I mean, I don't know, actually. I'm saying they're probably a lot more innocent, but maybe they're not if someone is trying to get them killed. I mean, it was implied that Rufio did something not so nice to a woman, um, which led to him getting killed, so... Yeah, and Vaden Dreff, I mean, there's no way he was in any way nice, so... To be fair, we don't know if these guys are good or bad. Uh, but we're going to find out. We have not discovered Apple Watch yet, but we have discovered two very close locations. Uh, I think Riel might be slightly closer. But let's head over to Apple Watch now. Well, to real and then to Apple Watch, I suppose. Oh, there's just a bear. Okay. We can kill a bear. Oh, please don't tell me I hit Shadow Man. Okay, Shadow Man seems to be calm. So I probably didn't hit him. Uh, but we'll take that. Bear pelt and keep it moving, eh? Yeah, I'm probably going to avoid Shadowmere just because having a horse around just makes things a bit more awkward than they really need to be. Especially for combat. Although Shadowmere does help sometimes. In general though, I'm more worried about her getting in the way. So I'm trying not to hit her. Resist that, resist that poison. Useless potion if you're an Argonian. A lot of ingredients here, considering the shortness of this journey. Oh, some nice, nice luck there. Okay, never mind. Um, uh, clouded funnel cap. And here is Apple Watch. I mean, to be fair, she'd say it was a farm, so a farm it is. We actually can't sit on this, even though it was designed to be sat on. Dang shame. Okay, so the Apple Watch farmhouse, we are allowed to be in here. Um, I assume whoever this is is not going to be hostile. Since, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I should... Nah, we don't need to have our weapon drawn straight away. We have a, a dog called Jake. Hey there, Jake. He's not attacking me. That's good. Okay, so this is all... Yeah, 
calm down, Jake, okay? I'm just looking around. There's some daggers and knives on the table. Uh, if I am going to kill Perennia, I uh, might cause a slight problem. But okay, I can't actually. Oh, there's a ladder here. Let's just talk to Perennia. Sorry to wake you up. Oh, hello there. I'm sorry, you startled me. My nerves get rattled rather easily these days, I'm afraid. Understandable. Living alone will do that to you. Now, yeah. is there something I can help you with? I am looking for your children. You and your children must die. Say nothing. Well, I don't think telling her her and her children must die is going to be particularly helpful in, in terms of getting her cooperation. So how about just, I'm looking for your children. My children? Whatever for? Oh, oh dear. Excuse an old woman's stupidity. You're here to pick up my gift list. Using your gift service was the smartest thing I've ever done. My children are spread across Cyrodiil, and it's so hard to shop for them all. So here's the list of all my precious little ones, though I dare say they're not so little anymore. <laughs> they grow up so fast, I swear. You'll notice that the list gives each child's location and some suggestions for gifts. Oh, and here's the gold I'm supposed to give you. Now please go. Those children are so dear to me, and I'd really like you to get them something special. Thanks again. Damn, she even paid me. <laughs> she paid, she's basically paid me to assassinate her family. Hunger gold and, was it Perennia, was it called Perennia Draconis gift list? We'll read it in a second. Uh, Perennia Draconis has given me a document that lists the locations of all the members of her family. She thought I was the delivery person she hired to buy gifts for her children. Well, that's either something that Lucian spent some time setting up, or just very, very unfortunate timing that we would arrive when she was expecting someone to buy her children gifts. I will instead use the list to find and slay each family member. I should start with Perennia herself. I don't have to, I could just go and kill everyone else, come back, tell her of her family's dead, and... Yeah. Then I must kill Matthias Draconis in the Telos Plaza district of the Imperial City, Andreas Draconis in the Drunken Dragon Inn, Sibylla Draconis in Muck Valley Cavern, and Celia Draconis in Castle Leowin. Um, there's something else I was going to say. I can't remember. Nah, probably, nah, probably something for later. Let's have a look at the Draconis gift list. Dear Kyria, I would like to thank you again for agreeing to assist me. I was so delighted when a friend recommended you, and will certainly employ your services again in the future, if everything goes well with this round of purchases. You can imagine how difficult it is for an old woman such as myself to get around. My children, darlings that they are, deserve the best, and I'm afraid I haven't been able to properly show my love and appreciation for them in quite a few years, but all that is behind me now. Here is the list of gifts I think my family would most enjoy, as well each child's current place of residence, which should be used to for delivery. Y your grammar's not very good, Perennia, I have to say. Matthias, Talos Plaza District, Imperial City. He has a home there. Matthias always was a rough and tumble lad. Last I'd heard, he'd fallen in with some pretty tough characters there in the Imperial City. I'd feel so much better if I knew he was well protected. So I'd like for you to find him a nice cuirass. Nothing too light. Iron or steel should be fine. And if possible, I'd like it engraved with To my dear Matty, I will always be here to protect you. Love, Mum. Oh, don't know about that. Plus, really, iron or steel? That's, that's all you can afford? Weak. It's all about danger karma these days. If you're going heavy armor, that is. Andreas, the Drunken Dragon Inn. He owns the place and lives there as well. Andy has been brewing his own beer and spirits since he was six years old. The opening of that inn was the happiest day of his life. I'd like for you to get him some new tavern glasses. I'm sure there are craftsmen in the Imperial City who could make a fancy set. 
from frosted ebony or alp ordinary crystal. Fair enough. Sibylla, Mock Valley Cavern. Yes, my daughter lives in a cave, and no, I'm not very happy about it. Sibby has always loved animals, almost as much as Andy loves beer, and a couple of years ago she apparently thought it a good idea to abandon the Empire and live as a savage with the rest of the animals. In that time, I'm afraid Sibby has kind of... cracked. She's basically as wild as the beast she lives with. What can I do? I'm Sibby's mother, and I'll always love her. She obviously doesn't want or need anything from civilized society, so what I'd like you to do is find a tanner and secure the largest fur blanket you can possibly find. The last time I saw Sibby, she was nearly naked, and I can't imagine there's much in that cave to keep her warm. When you do bring them to Buck Valley Cavern, be careful. The wild animals are bad enough, but Sibby herself will probably attack anyone on sight. Good to know. Unless you read that yourself, you wouldn't have known. Or, of course, had prior knowledge of the quest, but... Yeah. Celia, Castle Leowin. You'll find her in the barracks. My beautiful sea. My dearest daughter broke so many hearts when she was younger, but now that she's an officer in the Imperial Legion, I'm afraid she's let herself go a bit. Not gotten fat by Mephala, not fat. But she's settled into a more practical kind of look. Even a bit boyish. I guess you could say. So what I'd like you to do is to get my sea as much pretty girl stuff as you can. Flowers, perfume, nor chocolate, that sort of thing. Oh wow, that's a bit rude. If she wants to have a boyish look. It's uh, whatever era this is, she's allowed to do that. Um, but yeah, she's not going to be getting any gifts anyway, so it doesn't matter. You've already received half your fee in advance and will receive the remainder after the gifts have been purchased and delivered, as we originally agreed. Thank you again for providing such a valuable service. Uh, you're welcome, Lucian. I mean, Perenia. Sincerely, Perenia Draconis. Oh, isn't that cute? She expects us to buy all of those things with the money she gave us for her family. Oh, Perenia. You asked me to get some steel... And uh, I don't even know what perfect order swords are made out of, but uh, they look pretty metallic. But here you go. Help! Help! I get off. Oh, damn it. No, don't run away. She's fast, holy crap. Oh, you kidding. You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Of course there's a bloody Imperial Legion Forester. Uh, no. Well, I'm not giving up without a fight. Oh, come on, Perennia. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. How does she have so much more health than some of, even some of the Dark Brotherhood members? I'm, f I'm locating caves because of this. Is she She's going to run into a cave. She's actually going to run into a cave right now. Wait, what? She's in here. And oh right, the, the Legion guy is after me as well. Ah, uh, this is gonna be annoying. Do I take the hit and go to jail? Let's take off all of her clothes. Real Baron's eye, ho rate scythe. Okay, so she works. Hmm. Is the guard oh Die Don't go for me. Show me 
There you go. Okay, there we go. I used to not want the bounty of curing the, curing the guard. Oh god. There's a lot of bandits in here, huh? One down. Not this is more than I bargained for. Oh, nice dodge. Yeah, your friend's not really helping, is she? Oh, you got healing, have you? Let's see how much you can heal. Oh, wow. There we go. Alright, well, I suppose while we're here, we might as well explore this cave. Why not? A lot of armor. A lot of loots to be collected. Glass shield, glass war axe. Of course, we've got some legion armor here, but I, I'm not responsible for that kill. I hope. All right, just take everything. Hold and torch. Hard lock. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit impatient now because I didn't expect it to take so long to kill damn Perennia. Potion of grounding and some monies. Bread, wine, wine, cheese. Nope, oh, can buy that cat. Nice. Hands got a torch. Apples and onion, corn, and this chest is unlootable. You, sir. Crossbow, iron arrow. Can you have a weapon as well, or did I already pick that up? Nice. Ah, oh, there you go, Daedric Dagger. Did I miss any more weapons lying around here? God had a sword, did he not? May have already picked it up. Doesn't matter that much. But yeah, that's what you get for coming after me, stupid forester. What is my bounty, though, by the way? Because I didn't get the killing blow. So I should not have the bounty. Just 40 for assaulting Perennia. Okay. I can live with that. I don't think Capstone Cave is quest related, so I don't think this is a place we would have visited anyway. In fact, is there going to be any more bandits here, or if we kill them all? I'm going to guess there's more. Oh, we can still take this, but nothing in it. Wheat grain. 
Nice. I hear a dog. I think I hear a dog. It's a mud crab over there. That is some pet. Yes. Oh, here it is. It's a dog. I'm sorry, dog lovers, but he was going to aggro on me. I, well, I could have snuck past him, I suppose, but. Oh, I hear arrows, so someone's training. Um. Oh, right. This bandit has just killed the mud crabs. Sorry, Broski. Do your worst. I intend to. Painful. Hey, this guy didn't even notice. Yeah, there we go. So you were trying to fire arrows here. Is that something behind this? No. What are arrows doing there? Bow of a blaze, ooh, fire damage 20 points from strike, that's a lovely little find. Glass armor, mithril boots, glass dagger. Very, very cool. That's war axe, how are we in carry weight? Mithril shield, there's a mud crab here too, of course. Gold and a repair hammer. Nice. Uh, was that it? Some shrooms. Oh, a trap got triggered there as well. Okay, let's uh, make some more stuff. Oh, there's like this crab meat here as well. So the bandits are at war with the uh, the crabs, it would seem. Um. So what does this? There's a door here, I suppose. Does this go further in? I guess. Crabstone Great Cavern. Okay, we don't want to. Yeah, I don't think we want to go deeper. Let's just keep it at the surface level. Fill this turn into a capstone cave uh, quest. There's still more to explore though this way, so let's head over there. Don't hear anything else. So I guess we're there's no more bandits on this side. Maze of cloth. Red onion pear. Emetic Russia. Oh, there's a dead rat. Okay. I'm gonna say, is it not like a chest or something here? Torches? It's not great, is it? Usually in this kind of area, you'd find the chest. Oh, did I? Yeah, I look through these. Nothing. Okay. Slightly disappointing, but we move on. I guess we just need to go all the way to the other side. Oh, I 
I guess not. There isn't anything over there, is there? Yeah, okay. Just checking. Okay, let's loop around here. And then see what's on the other side of this. More shrooms, of course. I promise you will get back to killing the Dracoon's family. We're just taking a short break. Alright, we didn't get any from those, damn. Uh, I mean, there's got to be something here, right? Weird mist. Steel arrow, gold and gold nugget. I guess this is a bandit stash. Anything over here? You would oh, I was gonna say you'd expect an enemy of some sort to be here. Well there's three dead rats. Do they have a civil war? Did the bandits I guess probably the bandits kill them? I'd like to imagine they had a civil war. Gold and a lockpick. Nice. I'm trying to make sure they have nothing like hidden away in the mist. Uh, this is climbable. And uh, there is a hard lock chest. I guess this is uh, the best chest of the area. I don't know. Probably. Without going deeper into the, the cave. Potion of dedication and potion of healing. Okay. It's not amazing. It's not awful either. Alright, let's get going. In fact, I might even just go back to Battleborn Castle. Considering how much loot we've picked up, we're not going to be able to take much from our next enemies at this rate. Look at the mess we've made, jeez. Although we didn't kill the forester, and he didn't have to follow us here. Okay, so there is no enemies on us. There is something else we do need to do, though. Um, and I think the waterfront is the best way to do it here. Let me put my sword away. This, this is a little bit risky. Oh. The guards are not running after me. If I talk to them... Wait, let me save it first. If I talk to them, I'll watch them to give me the whole speech. Stop right there, criminal scum! Yeah, okay. Just, just wanted to let you know that that's a thing. If your bounty's low enough, I guess they don't ears, automatically run Get to you. Black horse courier here. Uh, that's fine. I'm here for one person in particular. And I hope he's home. I assume it's one of these. Hey, what's going on with you? Yeah, Toronto. Ugly little animals. Well, at least Check they're slow. Right. Their pincers are sharp, though. I'm on Crystal's house. Goodbye. Safe 
What's your story? Anyone looking for work should consider the fighter field. I hear they're always looking for recruits. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? Sounds like the Empire has given up on stopping the schooner trade and elsewhere. And I hear the tribal chiefs are supporting... Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to hope these guys don't wrap me out. I need to talk to our mom, Christopher. Please don't be mad that I'm entered your house. A pleasure to speak with you. Okay, good. You can pay your fines to the guards, serve your time, or pay me half, and I'll fix them all. You know what? That sounds amazing. Consider it done. I will get rid of all your criminal warrants. There we go. Thank you, Armand. Shadow hide you. Oh, what was that? Okay. Although, before we go, we are already in the Imperial City. Maybe we pay Matthias a little little visit. So who is it? Matthias in the Imperial City. It's Sibylla in Muck Valley. And there's Andreas as well. Who's in an inn somewhere. I can't seem to locate. Ah, okay, Drunken Dragon Inn, so that's like southeast. And CD is in Leowin. So, you know what? My first target would have been Matthias anyway. Let's go. Hunt down my man. Speak. Oh, the people are out. Let's talk to them. Yes. Calatinus Vedius. You were Martin's friend, weren't you? You were fortunate to have known him. I'm sure he'd tell you he was the fortunate one, considering where he was when I met him. Certainly. Ah, uh, you like me. Rumors? Someone told me that Hieronymus Lex is gone. Reassigned to Anvil. That can't be true. Have you seen him around? Not for a long time, you haven't, so maybe it is true. Take care. Antus Vanin. Antus Vanin. Retired. Sleep late and read trashy books. I don't keep up with the Major's Guild affairs anymore. Alright. Good for you. We'll see. I think it's choke and boast. Sure, yeah. that's cute. That's pretty good. You good? Not don't getting very good rolls such here. Rot. Not that's better. You can't scare me. Not oh, right? You're wasting your breath. Not such adventures. How I That's amazing. My life is drab and wretched by comparison. Alright. Danger shrines. I can think of three. The Hersheen Shrine is south of town, northeast of Breville, between the Upper Nibbon and the Green Road. The Mephella Shrine is northeast of the junction of the Red Ring Road and the Silver Road. I've heard there's a Veramina Shrine at the headwaters of the Reed River, though I've never been there myself. Someone's been doing their doing their homework. I guess he spent his major skilled research time finding out about Daedric Shrines. Not sure how happy they'd be about that, but there you go. Rumors? There are rumors that there is a new grey fox. Nobody knows what happened to the old one. Well, someone might know. Pyrrhus, is he? I spent 40 years at the Arcane University. Good years. But I don't miss it. Now I'm completely useless and proud of it. No, you're not. You just gave me valuable information on Daedra Shrine, so clearly you have some use if you want to, of course. Bye. Bye. This isn't doing much for our carry weight, but I, I got I got to loot. Oh, we've already looted these. Oh, is this his house? It, no. Hello. Good friend, this is an honor. Srafad. Srafad greets you. Srafad. 
for you. Oh, of you course. love me, Grimace? Ojir Jirik has a good selection of ingredients at the main ingredient. Who? Peru City? Sarthad learns the city by walking, talking, seeing it all. Sarthad thinks this is the best way for you, too. Well, that's why I'm talking to you. That's why I walked up to you. Uh, Goodbye. It's cool. Is this his house? Audius Arcade. Oh, he's he's here. He's out and about. <gasps> Is that him there? Grab his clothes. That, oh, gold and a repair hammer again. Another repair hammer. Man, these boxes and barrels are useful. Repair hammer. Another repair hammer. So yeah, there's not usually that many. Um. Yeah. What are you looking at? Uh. Hmm. What am I looking at? I don't want to say Sifis because that baits her out them dark brotherhood, but. Maybe I can provoke him to attack me by saying I'm looking at a dead man? What? A dead man? You got some kind of death wish, is that it? Yeah? Time to die, slave of Sivis? Slave of what? Oh, all right then. You're some kind of crazy, is that it? Come here then. Show me what you've got. Oh, okay, so... Yeah? Okay. Well then, I'm going to go about my business. And stop staring at me, would you? You're giving me the creeps. Okay, so... Hmm. Getting him to attack me didn't work. Do I have a... Uh... Ooh, do I want to risk... Ooh. There's ways to do this. Do I have this power? Will it work? All the frenzy work. Let's get this over with. Wait, what? They just let him go? Someone transformed. Angeli Blakely. This is my father's house. He was lost at sea many years ago. Ooh, I think I know something about you. Grant from Blakely, for those of you who know Oblivion, she must be related to him, right? Please, go on. I'm content here. Someday I hope to meet the right man, but not a seaman. Yeah, Never. if your dad dies at the sea, I kind of don't want to ha have to deal with that again. Understandable. Be seeing you. <gasps> we have a mythic dawn guy just walking around. Ulan Athram. Ulan Athram. Of the Craigenmore <laughs> Athrams. Made my fortune in the flint trade, and now I'm here in the city, living the life of ease. Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet you are, Ulan. Be seeing you. You just carry on walking in your mythic dawn attire. <laughs> How can I assist you? Yeah? Okay. Alright, alright. Another day, another day. Mm, this is one could be difficult. Luckily, I have a cheat code. You're the great. <laughs> Will you fall down and bleed to death? <laughs> Am I supposed to be the great? Right, focus this guy. Ooh, ow. All right, fellas, calm down. Show me what you let you live this time. Sir. Okay, are we cool? Stage your Make it. Quick. Oh yeah, the guards hate you even if you are the gray fox when you're doing crimes. Okay, gotcha. Move along. Wow, I took a beating there. That's for damn sure. 
But uh, my blade turn hood definitely is very useful because I can resist normal weapons and it also reflects damage. So it's very, very helpful. What am I looking for? Right, uh, heal my damage. Oh, but we managed to use it to kill Matthias without our person being under any sort of threat. Although zero disposition with guards could land us into trouble in the future. Uh, we'll take his uh, armor. We got the book Tamrielic Law, which we have read. Uh, I'll take his key, his gold, and his. And that's that. I guess we should just carry on, and if we need to stop off at Battlehorn Castle at any point, we can. So, yeah, we can do that. Do we get a quest update? No, okay. So, who is the most logical person to go after next? I guess vicinity-wise, Muck Valley Cavern is probably the closest. Uh, yeah, definitely is the closest. Um, is it closer to... Yeah, it's probably closest to Wellspring Cave. So let's go over there. Don't mind me, gods. Okay, we want to go this way. Oh look, there's a god. Oh, there's a bear after me. Thank you, God. No, Shadowmere. Oh, okay. I thought he was after me for a sec. Shadowmere, we were good, right? Okay. Well, all the days work, eh, Forrester friend? I didn't really get hurt at all, did I? Okay, Muck Valley Cavern, here we come. next creature to attack us. I'm going with Spriggan. Don't know why, I just have a feeling we're going to meet a Spriggan. I guess probably all the green and the nature. If we do indeed meet something, maybe we'll get a free, free journey. Uh, it's an alien ruin, isn't it? Let's not go over there for now. Well, the cavern's on our mini map now, so we're almost there. Getting kind of dark. Shrine is this? They're minas. Alright. Let's not go way over there either. If we don't have to. Oh, I can't get those. More 
of these. Alright. Yeah, maybe we should have gone to battle home first. It doesn't matter. We could we got the grey cow if we need to carry some extra stuff. Oh rat! Don't you dare get your teeth near me, rat. Who do you think I am? Some level one guy brush out the sewers? Okay. Uh, what's the structure looking like? Another rat over here. We must defeat it. This one had a spoon on it. Who knows what kind of damage it could have done with that. Maybe he was just using it to eat some cheese fondue. Also very possible. Uh, was that it? No other shrooms. Fair enough. Okay, this could be, it looks like a bit of a long cave since our objective is in the complete other direction. Oh, there's a black bear. Which are the stronger of the bears, I believe. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's a brown bear that's strong, because that black bear was very, very easy to kill. Didn't even get a chance to attack me. have anything interesting here. Yeah, I guess these nature-based caves are naturally going to have less loot, right? Because animals aren't out going around plundering and taking stuff. But there is a chest there, to be fair. Getting some more candlelit caps, which is nice. And a couple of potions. Ooh, brown bear. Yeah, brown bears, definitely stronger. They can fly too, apparently. Not strong enough, though. Okay, let's uh, cook up. Okay, we're heading to the part of the cave where she's in, I believe. A lot of bears. I wonder how she managed to befriend these bears. A question that was never really asked. How does a person just go in there and be like, Yo, bears, wanna be mates? Oh, there she is. I don't know how much of that she saw. Uh, the, the, the note did warn that she would attack anyone on sight. So I don't know how true that is, and I don't know if me killing her, her, her uh, furry friends has uh, made that more of a problem. There's a black bear over there as well. All right, she will attack us too. Oh, you still know English. She's fairly strong, to be fair, considering she's wearing no armor. Like, I'm slashing at her raw skin. And she's taking it. Ooh. Nice move. Why won't you die? 
Uh, I'm just trying to get a stylish finish. But... Or oh, whatever. Enough of that. Oh, okay, now we're over encumbered. Okay, now it's time to put our cowl on. Okay. Let's have a search of everything else. Firstly. Right. Okay, so she's got a steel mace. It's not the best weapon in the world. No armor, just clothes and a bit of money. Put up a decent fight though, to be fair. I guess you have to be kind of tough when you're living with animals. Occasionally you have to show them who's boss. One lettuce. A bit of wine. Okay, so she wasn't completely living like a savage. She was still drinking bottled wine. Red carrot rice. Red corn onion. Cloth. That's not what you'd call amazing loot, is it? But it is what it is. It's a cave. It's called Buck Valley Cavern. Not a place where you'd expect to find many treasures. Okay, let's make some more potions. Alright, let's start heading back. Uh, two Draconises left on the list. Got one in an inn and one in Leowin. Guess you could say they're both in inns, because Leowin has inn in its name. Yeah, I'm not proud of that one either. It's amazing how the rats and bears are able to live in complete harmony as well. Okay. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just the grey fox. <laughs> don't report me to the guards, please. stuffs. Okay, was definitely worth sticking around for. We got some nice stuff there, for sure. Not a Mithra boots. We need to keep the Draconis gift list. And the pelts as well. And all the cloths that we took. Okay, that'll do. Uh, let's get the cowl off before guards come kicking our door down. 
And let's head back out. Next up is the Drunken Dragon Inn, I believe. Fort Telemann is the nearest landmark to it, which isn't too far away, to be fair. A little bit of a, a journey, but it's fine. I haven't seen too many of these plants lying around, picture plants, but... Sadly, we got nothing out of them. Uh, which direction we want to go this way? The rain doesn't make it much easier to trek, but hopefully it means all the animals don't feel like fighting either. Ooh, stink horns. Is there a gate nearby? Pretty sure those are like supposed to be oblivion um, plants. Damage health po poisons though. Not complaining at that. Uh, one of these. Uh, I, can't, I do want to know what's in these. We know what's in green stain cup caps. Yeah, let's keep moving on. Not more stink horns. Oh. Okay, I've just got a problem that someone subscribed to my channel. Richland number zero, thank you. Uh, annoyingly, I cannot get rid of that notification without risking something happening to the game but uh so I'll deal with that in a little while in fact let me just get all of this stuff here there we go Oh, we can combine them. Alright, hold on. Let me save game, just in case something goes wrong. Uh, yeah. So are you going to see something a little different for a sec? Okay, hopefully we're back and nothing went wrong. Let's uh, keep going. Oh, there's a nerd route here. I wonder if I looked for it before. What's that? Oh, it's another nerd route. Well, I guess, yeah, I probably didn't look here before because the water here is not shown on the map. So, nice, found two extra known routes. We've done that quest, by the way. I'm sure I saw something glint over here. Well, not glint, but stand out. We've been doing alchemy things. got a, what's it called, a way shrine I believe, and those will definitely become more relevant later, but uh, I mean we're gonna, we'll get a free blessing just from coming here, so might as well. Uh, which one is it though? Debella. Continue your penance to earn the God's forgiveness. Alright, the gods don't like me at the moment because we're on the Dark Brotherhood Assassin path. I have prayed at the Way Shrine of Debella. Oh, that's actually part of a quest. Right, maybe I shouldn't have done that then. Oh well, it's not going to make a big difference.
Okay. Yeah, that looks like an inverse starting to take shape in the distance. Okay. I think we should be safe from too many enemies. We uh no we cannot. Okay, drunken dragon in. That's me. Uh, is it Andreas? I suppose that's him there. Let's have a look around his place. See if there's anything we can use against him. Just a bunch of food on the on the on here. Nice storage area, I suppose. Assassination. Good to take that. Bunch of locked doors, one of them with a very easy lock compared to the others. A little basement area. Okay. Bunch of storage stuff and some foods. Uh why Hey there, pal. Need a room? Hey pal, I killed your whole family. What? There's an Imperial Legion soldier just chilling here for some reason. What is it, sir? Say what you're going to say. Okay, these guys do not like me at all. It was an honor to speak with you, champion. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, um, Andreas the Cronus. How do hey we there, kill pal. him? Need a room? Let's talk to him first. Looking for a room? Ooh. Well, we tried the provocation tactic on Matthias. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, maybe we'll work on Andres. Your mother bled like a pig. My mother? No! What have you done to her? I'll kill you! Uh, it was just a prank, bro. Okay, you attack me first. I mean, the god's supposed to help you kill him. He didn't do anything helpful. He's just he's just carrying on drinking. Like, all right, dude. Steel dagger. Bunch of clothes. A bit of money. Yeah, right, job well done for you, isn't it, soldier? Too bad. I would have bought some ingredients from him if uh, if I could have, but sadly I had to go straight to straight to the murder. That leaves Celia Draconis in Leowin. So let's pay her a little visit. And let us not intimidate the guards by waving our sword in front of them. Good old aloe vera leaves. You are restore health. Oh no, restore fatigue. Just like all the other food items, aren't you? Uh. Uh, Rancid Radiasha, we don't need to talk to you. Apparently Celia's outside running around. Jump over a grave. Oh look, there she is. Right. What can I do for you, citizen? Yes? Is there something you need? Your life. Hello? Did you hear me? I asked if you needed anything. Well then, I've got duties to tend to, so if you'll excuse me. Okay, so Celia's a god. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna kill her, I don't know if I don't think I can be myself. Just in case. So uh Hopefully this kills her in one strike, but probably not. You're wanted dead or alive, Grey Fox. This will be easier if you're dead. Sure it would be. <laughs> my great my bounty's fifteen hundred and eighty. Well, I'm never gonna pay off a Grey Fox's bounty, so I'll make captain for this. Uh... Oh, what was that? Does that damage health over time? Probably. Ah! 
Almost dead. More hit. Nice. Let's take this off. A wise choice, citizen. I'm guessing you hate me. You're out late, sir. This ah, yeah. better be good. <laughs> they really don't like you. I'm sorry. Every member of the Draconis family has been killed. I must pick up my reward in next contract of a dead drop located in the stone well in the castle screen grad courtyard. Okay, well, let's do that. I'll take all of her stuff though, for sure. Including the Leowin keys. Which is very nice. Silver longsword. Okay, uh, I feel naked without the blade turn hood on. Let's put that back on. And yeah, we've done it. We've killed all the Draconises. The guards now will hate us because they didn't. They didn't completely recognize that I'm not the Grey Fox. Or that I am the. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, it's very difficult to complete this quest without uh, incurring bounties. And it can be very time consuming to find another way to do it. Uh, poison apples might do the trick, but sometimes they don't work, so it can be a bit difficult and frustrating to get it to work. But uh, having the Grey Fox persona definitely very, very helpful. Uh, so let's head over to Skingrat. And pick up our next dead drop, which someone actually planted in the castle. In the stone well. I guess that would be pretty difficult to find, but pretty brave to do this under the doors like under the doorstep of the count. But here's dead drop orders number three and some gold. I picked up my reward and received my next contract. I picked up my next contract from the dead drop in the castle skin grad well. I have been ordered to kill the Khajiit Jagasta, who can be found at his house in Bruma. Jagasta is a master of unarmed combat and will prove a challenging opponent. I should also be aware that Jagasta is expecting trouble and has paid off the guards to look the other way if our fight spills out into the city streets. Okay, interesting. So we've got to kill someone else in the city. Uh, we're off to Bruma this time. And a master of unarmed combat. I wonder exactly how tough he will be, but we'll see. Let's have a read. Are you ready to get your hands dirty, Silencer? Your next target is a Khajiit nobleman by the name of Shagast, who can be found at his home in the city of Bruba. Shagasta was recently offered the hand of a prominent Cyrodiil noble's daughter, but he turned down the offer when he learned of the girl's rather negligible dowry. The girl's family is outraged, of course, and has hired the Dark Brother to make Jagasta pay for his insults. Go to Jagasta's house in Bruma and end his miserable life, but be warned, the Khajiit is rich and bored, and spends most of his time honing his skills in unarmed combat. Any opponent who can kill with merely his hands is not to be trifled with, so tread carefully. Even worse, Shagasta is aware someone may be trying to kill him and has bribed the guards not to interfere if a fight should spill out into the city streets. When the target has been eliminated, you will find your next dead drop in a rotten box under the old bridge just south of the Imperial City. The box will contain your reward for killing Shagasta as well as information regarding your next contract. Okay, interesting. So, next target is Shagasta. Uh, so, let's head back to the castle and drop whatever we have before we set off on the next mission, which we'll do in the next episode. So, yeah, regarding the trying to guess who did the called out the hit on the oh, Draconis what? family. I'm still wearing the cap. No, I'm not. Oh, right. uh, the Draconis family. Again, it's not very, it's not made obvious. Hi um, there. But, yeah. It's very unusual to want 
someone to go after the entire family. Maybe someone really, really hated one member to the point where he wanted the whole family dead. Um, Perennia seemed nice, although she was a little bit rude in her letter, so maybe she rubbed someone the wrong way. Uh, Matthias... I mean, to be fair, he was only mean to us because we were kind of telling him he, we were looking at a dead man. There was no reason for him to be rude otherwise. Um, Celia, maybe Leo in God. Maybe she put someone behind bars and that person wanted revenge. Um, Sibylla, I don't think anyone would probably would want to go after someone who's just living in a cave. So, I'm not so sure about that one. And Andreas, the, the bartender, seemed very hot hot tempered. So, it could be possible. Um, I was reading some theories online, though, about this one. And someone suggested that Perennia, the mother herself, um, called the hit. Um, to which I am skeptical, to say the least. I don't think so. Um. I can't say why, but let's just say there is a little bit of extra information about this quest that really does not make it look like Perennia would have called the hit. And plus, she also ended up uh, dying, so who would call a hit on people and then want herself to die as well? Unless she was very, very strange, which she may well have been. Okay, that's it. We're good. So yeah, to summarise this episode, we completed our second set of dead drop orders. Uh, we killed the entire Draconis family, starting with the, the mother, Perennia, who actually turned out to be one of the more difficult people to kill, because she ran away and got us a bounty with the, <laughs> with the Legion Guard. I, did, I thought she'd be very easy to kill, like a one-hit kind of thing. Uh, but she definitely wasn't. So we ended up killing her um, after she'd given us the information about the rest of her family, of course. Uh, we killed Matthias Draconis in the Imperial City. Uh, we tried to provoke him into attacking us first, but he didn't take the bait. So we just dressed up as the Grey Fox and attacked him and then pretended it wasn't us when we took the cowl off. Uh, we went to, then we went to Muck Valley Cavern, a cave where Sybilla Draconis was hanging out with her bear friends. We killed her and the whole farm. Um, yeah, she did end up attacking us on site. Although I think it was because we attacked the bear. Maybe she wouldn't have if we hadn't attacked the bear. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, then we went to the Drunken Dragon Inn. Where we were successfully able to provoke Andreas Draconis into attacking us. The bartender. Or I guess the owner of the inn. The innkeeper is probably a better way to call him. Um, the guard was supposed to help us kill him, but what was more important was we didn't get a bounty for attacking him because he attacked us first. Uh, the guard didn't end up helping at all, so we just ended up doing the killing, which was fine. He was pretty weak. And then we killed Celia Draconis, um, the Leowin guard. Um, uh, with the same tactic, pretty much, as we killed Matthias with. Um, but yeah, the whole Draconis family's killed. We only have one more target for the next episode, uh, which is Shagasta in Bruma, who is apparently a hand-to-hand -hand master who has bribed the guards to look the other way as well because he's expecting some trouble. I wonder what he's been up to. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Take care and peace.